We were thinking about making um, support for mental health more accessible, uh, modernise it, um, and try and connect people in a way that they're connecting with each other um, in the modern day. An app seemed like a really obvious way of doing that and it felt like it was a way to try and break down some of the stigma associated with attending mental health services. So we've connected up with the informatics department in Manchester and computer scientists, as well as service users themselves and clinical psychologists to really take a multidisciplinary approach to developing the app. One of the issues with apps currently is that there are lots of apps available for mental health but they don't necessarily have a rigorous evidence base behind them. So what the MRC funding allowed us to do was trial the app under rigorous scientific conditions so that we can determine how safe it is to use, um, how feasible it is to use and how acceptable it is as well. Typically in the context of mental health it's been a very disempowered group and people haven't necessarily been given the choice about how they receive health care. And what's exciting is that we will be able in the near future to give people that choice and that option and that is really important um, in the context of psychosis but in the context of mental health more broadly because it gives people more control, um, it enables people to self-manage. The potential for digital technology is incredible and it's very exciting.